Hey guys and welcome back to my channel we are back with another video my name is Cheyenne just in case you're new here welcome and in today's video we are going to attack this downstairs guest bathroom and yes it was just giving refresh from the floors the curtain the decor everything was just giving refresh so we're going to attack this bathroom be sure to like share and subscribe and let's get started Okay, so first things first, we're just gonna go ahead and take everything off the counter, move everything out the way. I took the majority of this stuff from underneath the counter or just push this stuff back just so it doesn't get in the way of me painting like my puppy is right now all over me. But yes, yeah, so I just um, wiped it down and I'm just gonna uh, gently rough sand it, nothing too crazy, nothing too major, just a little quick rough sand and I'm gonna clean it off and then we're gonna get to painting this is the Valsper um, cabinet paint that I'm using in black y'all so this paint is black and as you can see it looks like it's going on gray and at first I was kind of nervous I was like whoa the lady recommended this color and it's not black and I want it black but it came out perfect as you can see right here I'm just using um, the cabinet handle measurement thingy that i got from lowe's and it was like 7.99 um but yeah so basically if I, you don't have holes pre pre drilled holes in your cabinet you can use that to basically just make sure the um the handles are even on both sides and voila easy peasy lemon squeezy so next i'm going to change out the toilet paper holder and as you can see, it's like some type of farmhouse style. Granted, y'all, I love uh, a modern farmhouse, but this was given Cracker Barrel. I couldn't do it. So I changed this out. It really wasn't hard, honestly. modern new and gold okay guys so i'm prepping to do the floors and baby the floors are everything these are from lowe's they are the style selections luxury tile no vinyl tile and they're pillings it and let me just tell you this youtube will have you thinking you can do everything under the sun because when i bought these tiles i was like oh this is going to take me maybe 20 minutes they're pill and stick, how hard can it be? But they're groutable. So that means, obviously, I can put grout in between so they look more realistic. And you don't have to do that. You can um, put them close together and just give it a more seamless look. But I definitely wanted to do the grout to make it look more realistic. Oh my goodness, guys. This took me, I wanna say, a good, a good six or seven hours to do this small space. Granted, this is my first time working with any type of vinyl, um, any type of tile. So I will say, if you're a little bit more experienced, it might not take you that long, but I'm just being honest. It took me forever, but I got it done. And yes, I cut myself right here. How? Not paying attention, but I was okay. I had to get the job done. And of course, my babies had to come mess with me because I can never do a home project without my family coming to see what I'm doing or to see if they can help aka getting away <laughs> so the tool that you guys see me just fumbling with and um cut my finger at is actually a fancy box cutter aka a vinyl cutter but yeah so the vinyl um was super easy to cut once i cut it it snapped right in half um i also could use scissors on it not saying um that it's not sturdy or uh thick it's just a uh, pill and stick I guess but if you feel my floors they feel so real even like when I have company over they're like that's pill and stick that's pill and stick girl yes go to Lowe's and get you some pill and stick I paid $40 for this box and I still had some left over
several song-filled hours later. One thing I do recommend when doing your floors are knee pads. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have went into the garage and got my baby girl's knee pads. I would have been okay with some frozen knee pads. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the grouting process. I'm basically using a pre-mixed grout and I'm just pushing everything down into the cracks that I left open. And of course my husband is telling me I'm using too much grout, but it is what it is. This is my first time using grout, leave me alone. <laughs> but yeah, it came out so good. So I went to Home Depot to get the MDF baseboard to um, frame my mirror. And these people had me cutting the baseboard by myself. I said, y'all don't cut. They was like, no. I said, oh Lord, this is gonna, but I'm gonna do it though. And I sure did. And this is how it looked, um, just white. And I didn't like it, so I spray painted it black. Y'all know I love spray paint. And this is my cousin, Joya. Shout out to my cousin. She flew into town, not to help me to be on vacation, but she thought she wasn't gonna help me. Get in here and help me. Thank you, love you. So to do the frame around my mirror was fairly simple. All I did was measure um, all sides of the mirror to get my lengths and then the corners I wanted to, to actually look like it was framed. So I cut each corner um, into a 45 degree angle. And what we're using to adhere the boards to the mirror is liquid nails. And it is basically a super strong adhesive and it worked perfect. We had no problems with it. So right here, I just used painter's tape to secure um, the panels in place just so they wouldn't slide. Um, and I left this on for about two days. I'm pretty sure 24 hours was good, but I had to be sure. So I definitely left it on for about two days and everything was good. I have no issues thus far. So here I am decorating my favorite parts. I don't know, it's just something about decorating. I just be in my zone. I love it. I don't pay nobody no attention. But, yep, this is my favorite part. Mm -hmm. 